Hello everyone and welcome back to Max Mac videos here on YouTube and in this video we're talking about Clickbank's accelerator program now as you've been following me I bought this program and I'm going through it step by step to see how it's going to do for me as well as you watching these videos I'm hoping that you'll get something from it now this will be the third video in the series and I'm going step by step and showing you around uh, giving what I thought think about it and using the tool now I'm going to log into the, log into the tool right now so you can see where we at now in this program the previous previous video is where I bought the program and I went through it a little bit not too much but that video did not give it much justice so in this video we're gonna go through it because I had some time to go through the program and to see more of what is offered so let's go and let's dive into this before we go please just smash the like button and just share this video with your friends and let them know that this video is all about the clickbank accelerator program it's going to help them to promote clickbank products and win now if you can see my shirt it says finished here or finisher um i had a like a walk <laughs> around central park a couple weeks ago and i, I love this shirt and it was a corporate event and I enjoyed myself even though I didn't run much <laughs> I mostly walked but it was so fun to see so many people in Central Park just having a good time uh, hanging out uh, it was it was a fun time so um, if you have if you have some time and you live in New York City or you visit New York City just take a trip to Central Park and just enjoy the surroundings enjoy the walk and just just enjoy everything about New York so let's go into the uh accelerator program and let's dive in right now here we go as i'm logging in um my details already saved so i'm going to log in and see exactly what is here as i said before the other video did not do it much justice that's just when i signed up um and this will kind of give you more of what is offered here As you can see, um, the Accelerator program is seem like it's part of Spark. Um, and Spark is, if you know nothing about affiliate marketing, then if you're just starting out, then you can jump, jump into Spark and learn how this is done. Now, because I am in much, much, uh, of a few years in, in, in affiliate marketing, I kind of understand what these uh, pre-sale pages are all about and how to use them. Now, in terms of using this particular tool by ClickBank, I was intrigued because it was created by ClickBank for ClickBank affiliates. And I'm a fan of ClickBank. You know, you know, I, I, I love ClickBank. So we're going to go through this step by step so you can see. Now, here I am inside of the admin area, you know, admin area of the tool. We have a couple of templates here. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. 15. So we have different, different styles of uh, pre sale pages. We can see here we have a video pre sale page, um, a video pre sale seller page. We have a text pre sale page we have here. Uh, we have a lead magnet page. We can see we have a couple here. We have an advertorial page. Uh, we have a blog funnel, quiz funnel. Um, quiz funnel seller page. We have a link in bio seller. Uh, we can see we have a couple different types here that we can, uh, we have a webinar style and, you know, so that's basically it for now we have here. Now, I'm going to move over to my left where we can see we have the dashboard area. Now we can see we have, uh, my funnels, email, my business, my content, help and support. We also have a help and support t uh, uh, tab on the right side. So if you need help, if you're kind of confused, not sure what's going on, need some help, then they have a nice um, help button on the top. It's in red. You can't miss it. Um, here at the bottom, perform uh, page performance. This is one of my first funnel. Now this funnel um, is just a funnel. Uh, I think this, this is it right here. So I didn't add any content. I didn't change the headline header. I didn't change any bullets. I didn't put any um, link in the button here at all. This was just 
the first first page that I kind of created just to see what it would be like. Um, so that's will be it. Now let's go back. Let's go back. We can also create a funnel from scratch. Um, and that's another awesome thing. Now resources have the resource center at the base here. Um, so we can have email automation, email, email automation overview, emails, uh, email campaign overview, how to add a domain, um, to my funnel, intro to funnel manager, how to create a, and edit your forms. Now, more advanced user will, will kind of know how to do some of these things, but I'm sure with ClickBank, it's going to be much, much different. Are probably similar all right so here we go as I said before um, this is the admin area inside of the accelerator by Clickbank program the stats are here so based on what happens on this page you kind of get exactly what's going on uh, this is this is nice so you can know how many leads you have you know page views uh, you can edit you know edit the page you can preview the page uh, and so on and so forth now I like that it's up front. You don't have to look, you know, all over the place. It's up right in front of you. Uh, the video pre-sell, you know, how it's doing. So based on how is your pre-sell page doing, you know, uh, it says 14.29%. I had one click, seven views. Uh, as I said before, this is not really, I just created the page. This is what it looks like. So, but it's giving me real stats here. And this, and this is something that we all need when you're running any campaign without any data, without you tracking anything, you'll be, you 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 lost, you lose. So everything has to be tracked for you to see how your page is doing. Then you will know how to make adjustments um, based on your data. So we can see uh, it's right in front of us and I, I kind of like that. Now on the left side, as before, we have our My Funnels and I, you know, Funnel Manager. I had one funnel, so Funnel Manager, uh, the forms, uh, my domains, I didn't add any domains yet. When I click down now to email, email automation, email campaigns, my business, contact manager, tag explorer, theme editor, settings, the tag explorer, uh, you can basically set tags for each of your, um, your forms, for each of your uh, funnels. You can tag them so you can, again, track everything to see what's working and what's not working. My content, you can add, uh, you can add content, my, like my file explorer and file, my post. So file explorer can upload files to, um, uh, this, uh, you know, this whole ClickBank deal here. So now let's click on the funnel manager here. And we can go to funnels. We can see here, uh, new funnels. Go to fun looking watch a tutorial now what i also like about this is um everything comes with a video so if you think you're going to struggle a lot with this uh, don't be because everything comes with a video and uh, it's going to show exactly what you need to do so let's watch this video real quick to see exactly so fundamentally we're going to watch this video let's watch it real quick it's only four minutes and 22 seconds. Welcome, Welcome to, to Funnel, Funnel Manager. Manager. We are going to go through an overview of Funnel Manager and how to create or edit a funnel. Click on My Funnels and then Funnel Manager from your dashboard. Once you are in Funnel Manager, you will be able to view your active or inactive funnels, as well as add a new funnel. If you click on the New Funnel button, you have three options to choose from. A pre-built template, start a new funnel from scratch, or edit an existing page. I'm going to go back to my active funnel to edit the lead magnet funnel by clicking on the Return to Back Dashboard link in the upper left corner. So now I will click on the Go to Funnel button and it will take me to my funnel page. I'm going to move these boxes up so I can see all of the elements to my funnel. You can move the boxes anywhere on this page. 
As you can see, the pre-built template has a landing page with a pop-up button, which opens to a form when clicked. The page visitor will fill out the form and get directed to a thank you page, which has a button link for the freebie offer. I do want to add a tag to the form, so when the visitor fills out the form, they will be tagged and added to the freebie list so I can identify them easily on my contact list and send them an email automation. I'm going to drag and drop the assigned tag element onto the page and click on the half circle icon and connect it to the form. Now I need to add the tag that is associated with my freebie. This will auto connect an email automation with the same tag associated with it. If you do not have an email automation set up, you can drag and drop the element on the page and edit the element to add your email sequence. The email automation name, which is the tag, needs to be the same as the tag you added to your form. So I'm going to add a pre-done email automation tag to this form. And it's called Eat Stop Eat. You will see that the email automation will be automatically connected. So now my funnel is complete, and you can see the series of steps your lead will take once they land on your page. They'll click on the pop up button, which will auto populate the form, they'll fill out the form get added to your contact list with the assigned tag Eat Stop Eat, and an email series will go out to them. They will also be sent to a thank you page, which they can click on the button and auto download my freebie. If you are working on an inactive funnel, you could go to the settings tab. You'll click on the active box, so mine's already active, so this is checked, and you could also edit the funnel name and funnel description. And hit save. If you no longer need this funnel, you can also delete the funnel from this page. Now, when I start getting these, they're going to fill out under the leads tab. You'll have a list of your leads and you'll be able to see if any are new, active, or they opted out of your series. You could also set up Google Analytics once your domain is added and your automatic analytics of website traffic, the channels they come through, the devices they're using, will all generate on this page. So instead of having to bounce around to many different places to view the different pieces of your funnel, you can just do it in one place in Funnel Manager. All right, so here we go. Now let's close this page. So as we can see, um, the video tutorial was was great. Uh, what, did, what did you think? Uh, comment below and let me know what you think about this video, about the tutorial that you just, just watched. I thought it was very detailed. Um, and concise it wasn't too long and we we're able to see exactly what they're talking about so that's funnel manager now forms we're going to forms click in forms you get the same things so you, here we have a video we have a video that's telling us about forms um we're going to come back to that we're going to go to domains so lead magnet form we have a video, uh, webinar registration. We have a video. Let's go into domains. And this will tell us exactly, um, you know, domains and SSLs. How does that go? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna close this. Um, if you notice, <laughs> I, you know, because I'm one of the early ones with this program, I got my full name with this URL. I mean, I got my full name, which is, which I'm super, super excited about that. I, I'm, I'm excited because my, my full name is there. That's my real name, by the way. That's my real name, by the way. Um, and here we go. Um, email, let's click on emails. 
you know, email automation we have here. Uh, let's click on email automation. All right, it's all here. We have a tutorial here for that. Um, email campaigns. We have a video for that. So it's, I mean, it loads automatically for us. So, you know, it just goes to show you that uh, they thought about everything. You know, so before you get into using it, you have videos that kind of explains. You can watch a video over and over again so you'd understand exactly what's going on. I, I haven't decided what, what I'm going to promote yet. If I should give something away, <laughs> if I should create a pre sale page and just do that, or just an opt in page or giving something away. I'm really thinking about that. I think I'm probably going to do a, a freebie, go to Fiverr and uh, get something made. I have somebody write something for me, maybe five pages about the product that I'm going to promote and maybe give some benefits of that product or what, you know, what they should uh, look for. Uh, and say, for instance, somebody's trying to lose weight, he'll give some benefits on, you know, 10 things to do to lose weight while you're watching TV. <laughs> Something intriguing. They'll be like, what? <laughs> watching TV? What can I do? You know, like become a cabbage potato, but you know what I'm saying? You could create something that kind of intrigues somebody, give it away for promoting one of the, promoting, um, one of these products that they have. And Click might have a lot of products. Trust me. I've seen, they got some really good high commissions right now. Now, my business, we're going to click on my business. We can see contact explorer, contact manager. And we got a video for that. It loads right away. So everything is here, man. It's, you know, I think this is a great tool for beginners because if you have no idea how to, uh, you know, maybe you've been struggling to make a few bucks online using ClickBank. Uh, this is a, another way for you to kind of get uh, a handle on how they, how these guys are really doing it. How are they making so much money with these with ClickBank products? There are different ways to do it. Yes, it can send traffic straight to the sales page, but um, in my experience, you pre-sell your leads before you send them to the sales page. The sales page is there to sell. Don't try to sell the product. Provide value information to your lead and let the sales page do the selling. You're just you're just referring them to it. So get them excited. Get them hyped up about what you are going to send to send them, and and you know, and let the sales page do the rest. You just get them excited. You just get them pumped. All right, with some good value. Just like I'm promote, providing value here with these videos. I hope you like them. I hope you're getting some value from this uh, training. Uh, as I said, not just a training per se, but an overview, and, and this is a step by step because I'm going to do this. You know, one step at a time. I'm going to pick a pre-sale page. I'm going to use every single one that they're offering here. Every single one. I'm going to pick one and go through the list. And we're going to pick, I'm going to go with the one that's making us, you know, the most money. <laughs> maybe it's the, the, maybe it's the, um, uh, 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 um, the, um, it just slipped my mind. <laughs> um, oh my God. I'm losing my mind already. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. For some reason, I can't. I can't. <laughs> this is insane. But anyways, let's just go to it. The Tags Explorer. We can see here. So here we see. Um, we can see, you know, they're kind of giving us an idea of the tags that, you know, that we can do all of the tags you have created. Are listed below along with their st stats. Click into a tag to see more. Let's see. Can I click into a tag? Let's see here. Let's click into this one here. Let's click into this tag. So basically, you'll see, you know, what happens. How many contacts, automation, campaigns. So this is giving us everything. This is giving us everything. Let's click on, let's let's click on the video. Let's play the video. It's only three minutes.
It is probably no surprise that Tags Explorer helps you manage your tags. Let's expand this. But the first thing you need to know about tags is that there are two types of tags. There are tags that are assigned to contacts that help you segment your list and better understand the interests of the people in your contacts. And then the types of tags that help you find things better on your account and help you organize things better. No matter which type you're looking for or using, you will find them all under Tags Explorer. So when you're in Tags Explorer, you will see the tag on one side. You'll be able to view your contacts, email automations, campaigns, forms, pages, and posts the tag is associated with. If there's nothing there, it's going to be a grayed out zero. But if that tag is used in any of those places, you'll see what's attached to it. So for the tag all, there are 83 contacts and one email campaign. If I click on that magnifying glass, I will be able to go in and view all of my contacts on this tag and then also any of the features that's associated with it. So I can see my June newsletter was sent out to the All tag. If I need to go through and make any edits, make sure my funnels are set up correctly, I can really see from a high level beginning to end what things are connected to. What I can also do is delete tags and clean up tags that I have no use for or might be unnecessary. Maybe I no longer need the each step eat tag anymore, but I see that it's attached to one email automation. So if I'm going to delete this and I see that it's attached to an email automation, it will also delete the email automation. I'm going to go ahead and delete the tag by clicking the trash can. It's going to tell me that deleting this tag is not reversible, so the tag information data that's associated with it will not be re-added if I add this tag back in a future date. Same as my email automation series will also be deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and click delete and say OK. Now it's off my tags list. And if I go over to my email automation, you can see I no longer have an active email automation. There is no penalty or limit for having as many tags as you want, as well as none for having as few as you want. You just need the correct number of tags to be able to manage your contact list and organize your business how you see fit. And you could do this all under the information of Tag Explorer. Nice. That's another nice video. So hopefully, uh, hope you're still watching and hopefully you enjoying these videos. And uh, you know, I think that was a great tutorial and it's kind of showing us exactly, um, you know, the tags of the Tags Explorer work. And again, um, this accelerator program is all new to me. And as you're watching, you're learning the same as I'm learning. So we're all learning this together and we're all going to be using this tool together. Uh, one thing I'm wondering though is how much do you have a limit of how many um, contacts you can have inside of this tool? So far, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that there is a limit. You know, um, <laughs> let's for instance, the contacts is going to ten thousand. Uh, is it going to be a? You have to pay more. I didn't see anything about paying more when it comes to that. But let's go through it um, some more. This is the theme editor. Let's see our theme editor here. And, okay, nice. Let's see, okay, let's see what this is all about. Theme editor. Let's click the theme. This video is kind of long. Let me just kind of look through. Okay, here you'll be able to control your website's brand style, including colors, fonts, and buttons, content, and page templates on your site. We automatically update to match the style you choose and my brand all right this is nice so you can basically customize the site that you're going to make inside of the accelerator program which is nice you can change everything all right that's cool um i don't want to start customizing can i just 
let's say I'll start customizing. Okay. All right. So start customizing just brings me here. We have the H1 tag. We have H2 body tags. We have, okay. This is the style we have. We could change different fonts we have. We could different fonts we have. We could change it as well here. Uh, robots is very popular. It's, it's this font is very popular right now. Um, we can see we have different colors. Okay, nice. We can change the background. We can change the text. We can change everything. The buttons, you can change my buttons. You can change the button style. We can do hovers. I mean, we can do everything we want to do here. We can do secondary. We can have the, the white background and the blue text. We can also change every the background. We could change the background is blue. We could change the color. Let's move it a little bit, make it a little brighter. Nice. We can get it to duller. Let's see that. Nice, nice. As you can see, so everything is customizable. The text we can change. Border colors we could change the border colors. As we can see, we're here. So basically, this page. This page that I've, I have can be, you know, based on what I do here. Um, so let's, based on what I do here, we'll update the colors here. Let's go to settings. And here in the, in the admin section, uh, we can see how long it's taking. It's eight minutes long. It's a little bit long. So let's going to click here um here's my website name i like it i guess i could change this if i want to um here is my url um here is my website unique id i'm not sure i'm supposed to show that to you <laughs> i'm even gonna blur that out um and i have two auto save intervals okay i can hide admin box hide domain redirect primary domain uh, we can add Okay, site-wide hidden HTML. Okay, we can add, ooh, Google Tag Manager, Facebook Pixels. So we can go here. Wow. Um, with WordPress, you can do this type of stuff, but you need to install a plugin. Oftentimes, a header plugin, um, header footer plugin to use this. But we can see we have it right here. We don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to download any other plugins. We can use it right here. So header. Or we can do site wide, which is which is which is nice. So you can you can track everything. All right. Um, let's security. Um, we have some security stuff here. Of course, we have to add a privacy policy URL. You know, you, you need that um, location, my home address, and everything. I haven't put that in yet. <laughs> uh, social media. All right, all the social media. I'm assuming this will appear at the footer or based on where you on the site that will appear. Uh, content types, description, language. You can hide stuff, emails. So basically, you can now, okay, nice. Marketing. You Google stuff here, Google API, nice. Log into Google from from right from back here. This video this video is pretty long. I hope I'm able to post it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty long, um, and I hope I hope you're still watching. You know, uh, as I said, this is uh, uh, this is a step by step, so it's going to be a little long. Each video is going to be a little long. I'm sorry for it to be so long, but I'm trying to uh, get through to this uh, for all of us. Let's go to content. My content file explorer. Let's go to file explorer a little bit. I'm just going to turn on, actually, let's turn this on. I, I thought this was really cool. It's, it's just three minutes. Okay, cool. It's three minutes. I think, I think in, I think in, 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 in the other videos, I wanted to probably do, um, one feature at a time instead of going through the whole thing. Um, because <laughs> it's getting crazy long. So let's say I want to go into File Explorer. I'll just do that in one video. Just do File Explorer alone and then upload that. I think you probably 
and enjoy a little bit better. So let's let's just close this. Actually, let's continue with this to continue. Under my content, File Explorer is where you can store any of your documents or PDFs that you want to share on your funnel or check out your images that you have under the Browse My Images option on your page editor. If you want to take a look at your images, you have an images folder and you can click the plus icon. All of your images are under the web folder and you'll see them populate on the right hand side. This is where you could add new images if you'd like to, so they show up under the browse uh, my images folder, or you could delete any images from here. If you'd like to add images, you're going to click on this browse file to upload images from your computer. If you want to delete an image, you would click on it, right click on it, and then go to delete. You also have the options to rename, move the image to a different folder, copy the images, download the images, or you could view the property. When you view the property, you would have the full path URL on adding this image to your my post SEO tab if you needed to. If you wanted to add PDFs, you can create a new folder by clicking, make sure you're clicking on the number that's the number assigned to your account and then click on the folders to create a new folder and you could put downloads. Once you add your downloads folder, you could go ahead and upload a PDF. So let's just uh, upload this one. And you'll see it appear. And now if you right click and go to properties, you'll be able to grab the shareable link that you could add to your funnel. Um, for a freebie download, um, you could add this link to a button for them to click on and be able to get. And now I'm gonna, not going to need it, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And you will see it deletes off of your file explorer. The other thing you could do is if you have large uh, files, if you need to upload any videos or larger files more than one gig, you could go ahead and upload them here and they'll be able to be put into the folder instead of uploading them through the page builder page editor. So basically your file explorer is a where you can organize any PDFs or images that you want to share on your website. All right, all right, all right, all right. So here we go with File Explorer. Now, um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and make a comment below. I um, hope you're still here. Um, video is getting a little bit long, but it's necessary because I want to show you guys everything that's inside of um, the ClickBank Accelerator program. And as I said before, I'm going to try to make this um, somewhat a little bit shorter with the following videos. So I'm going to go through one, uh, one, header at a time so it's, if we're going to do funnel manager we're going to funnel manager just for that video we're going to forms form for that video only and you know so on and so forth i think that may kind of make it shorter because and i know i know the attention span of of us today is kind of short and it's kind of tough to have you you know for us to sit and watch a video this long but i appreciate if you're still watching and Hopefully you will, you know, you, you're taking this in and you, you, you're going to follow it, follow through and watch as I use it. So the program, uh, you know, as I go through day by day, um, build my first form, uh, send some traffic to it. You know, I mean, before I even send traffic, add all the, the, uh, tracking details, just had the tags, just, just do everything. So you can see exactly what I'm doing to be able to follow along and basically copy me you can be able to copy me and then if you feel like you want to jump ahead and grab your own accelerator wow you know i think that'd be a great um yeah, great thing you know uh it's a win-win for all of us you learn i learn um and you could you know you know take if you if you if you have a side hustle like most of us today you know most of us 
have a side hustle and the goal is to make our side hustle our main hustle right I'm, I'm sure that's the goal so if you have a side hustle and you want to make your side hustle your main hustle you know then uh, more power to you you know I wish you all the best um, in your endeavors and just 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 keep pushing don't give up um, you know I've been doing this a long time and I've thought about many times about quitting um, affiliate marketing so but I, I love it it's like it's like in my blood now <laughs> it's in my blood so it's hard to get out of me so um, I'm sure you know you know you've, you've been bitten <laughs> by the affiliate marketing bug so you want to uh, see this through you want to see at the end of the tunnel you want to finish <laughs> you want to be a finisher I say yes yes I've done it and I want you to be able to celebrate one day all right even if it's next week even if it's tomorrow even if it's a year from now even six months from now affiliate marketing is not a get rich quick quick scheme it's a actual business all right you get your w9 tax form uh your w9 tax document from whoever you're promoting you know i got mine from last year from clickbank so and i found my taxes and that's there so you know it's a le legitimate business and i you know hope that you treat it as such if you're watching this video this long i need you treat it as such so back to the uh program here so i listened before it's getting a little bit long but uh, we have gone through almost all of the tabs so we have my business again contact manager tags explorer theme editor settings my content we just went through my posts uh, we can see my posts here and you can create a blog inside of this thing you know <laughs> i mean it's right here it's all here add a compelling title to you you know add a third blog post to fill out a list and so on and so forth so it's all here i mean everything is here edit everything is here um let's go back to the that let's see let's see my let's click on my blog post To start blogging, you first have to start with a blog funnel on your account. If you do not have a blog funnel, you can do so first under Funnel Manager, click to add a new funnel, and select the blog funnel on the pre-built pre template option. Once your blog funnel is set up, you can come to the My Posts tab to start adding your posts and setting up the details. If you want to go ahead and either start a new post by clicking on the new post or editing a current post, you can click on the pencil icon. In here, you will see all the post details. Under the general tab, you could add your post title, you can add a date, you could select the author, you could show a form on your post, you could add a categories, Create the SEO name that's part of the URL title. You can view how many people have come to your post. You'll also be able to add an override sequence. So if you create a post that you want as the number one post on the list at all times, you could add one here. And then you could add if it, you want commenting on your post and if you're activating it. If you create a post, prior to wanting it seen on your blog list, you can still activate the list, but set the date for somewhere in the future. So if I wanted this one to go live on June 1st, I would just put the date on June 1st and put active, and your guests coming to your blog funnel will not see it post until the 1st. You could also send the subscribers that are on your subscribe list an email notification that you added a new post to your list by clicking on the send email. Next is the content section. We, right now we have a uh, blog post that has filler images and text, but you could come in here 
and edit anything on your thing. So if you wanted to delete this, you would just go ahead and hit the trash can, and then you would be able to type right onto this section. You could also add a blog post from your blog page in Page Editor. So if you go through Funnel Manager, edit the page, you would also be able to edit or add a blog post directly from Page Editor. So then you would be able to see the layout and the look and feel of the blog instead of doing it under the content tab here. Under the Attributes tab, you will add your SEO settings. So you'll add your title, your keywords, and your description. Under tags, you could add a content tag, not a contact tag, where this would just segment this blog that is associated with the tag, and you would be able to see it on Tag Explorer. You would be able to check your comments if you have commenting enabled here, and you would be able to approve your uh, guest comments. And then if you want to delete a blog, you would go ahead and click the delete tab and click the delete entry. Again, once you delete this, it is gone and you will not be able to get it back. Once you're done adding all of your blog details, you could go ahead and hit save. Once you're back on this page, you can view your blog post directly from here, or you can inactivate your blog post from there. But you could always come back to the blog post to see the views, approve your reviews, or inactivate and activate your blogs just by clicking the pencil icon. Now, all you have to do is go in and create a new blog post. Another great video, another um, awesome tutorial. As I said before, um, this is the step-by-step uh, you know, -step tutorial of Accelerator by ClickBank and and this is, you know, just to go through the program and for you guys to see exactly how it is, uh, what you're going to be up against, and what you'll be able to do with this uh, tool from ClickBank. Now, I've seen, I mean, I do see a lot of uh, great stuff here. Now, you know, watching this blog tutorial just keeps reminding me of ChatGTP. Now, if you're creating your, your site just to send traffic to it, um, this will great work great with evergreen niches because the information uh it's in evergreen niches is, is constant it's there it's just it's getting rehashed over and over again and chat gtp is kind of smart uh i've generated a ton of content using chat gtp when it comes to evergreen niches you just got to go through and verify the information um and it's 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 there you know you're not worried about getting seo traffic you're just creating content you can send your leads to that page so you don't have to really worry about, you know, certain things when it comes to, you know, search engine when it comes to that because you're not really looking to get search engine traffic. You're looking to create a site with content on it. When you send your traffic there, they have some content and valuable information to read and then send them on to your pre sale pages. So, you know, I just couldn't help but thinking about <laughs> chat GTP while watching that video. As I said before, here is the blog funnel that she was talking about. It's just the blog funnel right here. Uh, that she was talking about so you create your blog your image will be here and this style of um this style of uh a, a page is 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 used a lot let me just use a lot go back let me go back is used a lot by um by um uh you guys may have known about wealthy affiliate and this style is taught a lot in wealthy affiliate when it comes to um when you're creating your website they do talk about creating a use a wordpress theme similar to this one if you can see in you know, image content image content i forgot I forgot what you call this style of theme uh where the information is there they can be able to read one by one going down i'd have to need to go to scroll up and down to see all the information so i can see that clickbank has chosen this it shows that this style is a proven winner um when it comes to creating a blog for um 
to pre-sell your leads. Again, uh, this video is uh, getting a little long, and I think I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully, you will catch the next one. And what we're going to do with the next video, we are going to uh, just probably go through one of the uh, funnel manager or the form or uh, my domains I'm gonna play with this like you know after this video so when I come back on I'll be able to probably just walk you through say building a video pre-sale page you know tell me what you like me to do in the next video uh, post your comment below I'm gonna read the comments and I'm gonna do exactly what um, you want me to do if I get no comments or no information from uh, those who are watching then I'll just go ahead um, and just do funnel manager and or just 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 do funnel manager alone just do these three because all in one funnel manager just go through this one um, that be one video and go to email that be one video my business that would be one video uh, my content that be another video and then once I've gone through all of them then I'll create one of these pre sale pages which I've created already all right, I'll make edit to this one. Um, again, editing to this is really, really simple. So it's not hard. It's very straightforward. So, you know, in the next video, please catch the next video. Um, again, I would love to know what you would like to see in the next video. Um, comment below. Let me know which one you'd like me to see. Do. The my funnels, my emails, my business, my content. Um, you, want me to go, you want me to go straight and build a video pre-sale page or a text pre-sale page. Um, I also have to choose the product um, to be able to do this. And I'm going to select, um, since I'm in the self-help niche, there's a lot of products here, a lot of great offers that we can use. So I'm going to probably pick one of the top selling ones that they're, that's been that's selling right now. And let's go to let's go to Clickbank now here let's, let me log in here um, and see really so this account is a relatively not so new but I haven't promoted much with this with this account in a while um, really <laughs> why is it saying that What happened? I was like, <laughs> all right, let me let me go back here. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> let me go. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> let me go here. Um, I know it did. I did I update my password? I don't, I don't think I did. Let's see what's going on here. So it okay. So it updated my password and everything. All right. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so I guess it did have changed everything. So I will um. Probably switched once I update this here. It probably switched my account. I'm not sure what happened. In any case, we are going to um, continue the next video. So hopefully, you can watch the next video and uh, see how it's going. All right. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care now.